What's up and welcome to 2017. 2017. At one point in my life that felt like the other side of the future. Huh? Well, welcome to my first video of the year. To this is Daisy. I'm so I want to start off this year super positive, super energetic because I want to invite the good things in my life because hopefully it would work. <laughs> this moment I am taking requests for the year if there's anything in particular that you want to see jump it off with some fashion goodies I'm on all social media so hit me up check my description box and don't forget to subscribe this video I will dedicate it to my cousin's girlfriend who is at the moment struggling struggling you are a fighter babe and I love you Let's jump into this video. First one is this baby furball. I was like dying for some like Russian type of hat, some big fluffy, super fun, girly hat. I put it on and it just made me laugh and smile. It's super warm, it's knit, it has this faux fur and it just looks so stylish. I can go out with this in the night here and can dress it up down in the daytime. like. It's so versatile. Items in this video will be down on my description box. Reminds me of my baby kitty and I love her and I love this hat. Down girl, down girl. I mean, how could you not like this, right? It is so like foiled and heavy metal and shiny and fun and it has that pleated type of look going on and it's knee length. And I love it because it's actually a very loose fit. Something like this, I would wear in the daytime, but I would probably pair this with some cool, funky sneakers, with like a t-shirt, and play the rest of the outfit very low key. Next up is these cool, cool red pants. Rad. I don't think I've ever said that word. I ended up purchasing these patent leather type of pants and they have like this rock and roll vibe with the zippers going on and it just gives it a sexy young rock and roll type of vibe and again I can wear this in the daytime and I would not have a problem with it. I would again dress this with like some funky sneakers and some relaxed type of top or blouse. It just speaks volumes on its own. It doesn't need much help when it's already beautiful. They're high-waisted and they're like tights type of material but then in the bottom it flares out and it has like that tulip type of look and I feel like this will look so cute with something like this which is exactly what I ended up wearing, wearing for New Year's and some cool like sandal type of shoes that show off your ankles and your toes and make it even more sexy and they're knit so it's really warm I didn't have to worry about freezing my tushy and sacrificing trying to look hot because um, ain't nobody got time for that shit I found you my love and I would never let go of you it's so beautiful so soft and it has that Russian high-end edgy type of look why is that something I normally get so I want to like, just kind of like play with the color so happy ah! over a hat I have three shoes to show you and then we're done with this fitting. These little beasts are hot. And let me tell you, I already put these to work because I walk all over the city here in New York and they are so comfortable. They're sexy. They're like, whoops. They're up to my knees and they're just like so stylish, so she-she. And then they have like this metal cuff with which gives it like more of an urban feel, like a very street look. So forgiving, they're beautiful. I love the fact that the heel is just so comfortable and they're super sexy because these are really, they're high thighs. And to me, they give me more of a mod look. So these look so cute with like baby doll dresses. I like kill two birds with one stone. I can go out with this, I can wear this every day. Next! Oh, oh my god. Ah! I feel like I get overly excited with everything, but shouldn't you? Because I don't shop often. Look how cute they are! They're just like, they remind me of my little baby. And no, it's not real fur. They're in white. I was hesitant to purchase them in white because, let's be honest, New York is very dirty and that's the last thing you want to do and you always have to be paranoid about them, but 
I'm like, damn, you know, like screw that shit. It's like, I really love them and why they're so awesome. They're so freaking warm. I would wear this to a bar, but if somebody were to step on me, I will kill them. Did I say that out loud? So that is all she wrote, folks, for today's video. I hope you had your fashion fix. Hit that bell because it will notify you of my next video because YouTube is not letting you know what I love. Wishing you a healthy, happy, and lucrative year. Mwah. Now who the hell's gonna clean up this mess? Not me.